Well, behind the back pass by Miller, taken away by Pud Colson. The silly Pud Colson works it on the Kutra. In across the line, Pud Colson drops it back. Marchenko in, shoot, score! Pod Colson sets it up. It was a great play by Vasily Pod Colson, who's top three, potential top three pick in this year's draft. Tremendous speed through the neutral zone. And Pod Colson comes up and makes a really nice drop pass to Kirill Marchenko. Fires that one by, and they, they get a little offensive lift from that, no question. So the play by Paul Colson, you're looking for difference makers. You're looking for somebody to make a play for you. And it's their youngest player. If you're a 17-year-old and you make the Russian national junior team, you must be pretty good. Andrei Svechnikov did last year, but he hardly played for Coach Valerie Bragg. And they brought another one this year. The city Pod Colson's considered one of the top prospects for the upcoming draft. Yeah, you, you must be quite a player to get into Valeri Bragan's lineup as a 17-year-old. Just five of them in the eight years that he's been coaching the World Junior Team. But Colson put on a display at the Halinka Gretzky tournament, the under-18 tournament in Edmonton in the summer. Eight goals in five games, a dynamic player. He's a difference maker all over the ice. He's got a, a speed and change of pace that makes him difficult to handle. And perhaps, like Svechnikov last year, becomes more of a factor as the tournament went on. Svechnikov didn't play very much at the beginning of the tournament, and as it went on, he started to become more productive, and Valeri Bragan started to use him a lot more. Maybe Pod goals and doesn't need to, to work his way there. He'll start there for Bragan. Pod goals and picks it free. Sends it right back in front. Dostel makes the save on the tip by Kirill Marchenko. Russia quick on the turnover, quick on the counterattack, and Pod Colson's pass is right in a spot where Marchenko can deflect it. That's a difficult save by Shashkov. Knocked down by Pod Colson. Does it? Colson shoots. Rebound. Loose it. Francesco couldn't reach it. Now it's knocked just wide. Pod Colson holds. Feeds it back to Romanov. He pokes it back across. And Ilya Morozov unloads. Watch this entry by Pod Colson. The patience as he pulls this around Kemp, snaps it to the net, and then this puck just trickles by the left post. Well, Anderson was poked, checked there by Pud Colson. Pud Colson feeds it back in front from Archenko. He spun around, lost the handle, shoots. Feeds it down, Pud Colson. Centers it, goes off the skate, bouncing around, tapped wide by Costin. Samarukov feeds it back across, crafts off a shot, Schmid made the save. Back for Samarukov. Crafts off, shoots, that deflected just wide. Dmitry Samarukov, and now brought in by Pud Colson. Vasily Pud Colson pivots back in the corner, drops it back. Romanov unloads on that, and a bullet goes wide. Rebound, score! Poked home by Nikita Shashkov. There's Pud Colson getting into the zone, and the shot by Romanov is about six feet wide. It hits the end boards, then it hits Jayak's foot. Here comes Pud Colson with it. Pud Colson gets around Koch, throws it back in front. That's knocked away. The early impressions of the silly putt pulls a very agile really strong on his feet there he was bumped off stride and don't forget he's just 17 years old he stays on stride and still strong enough to make a play pretty easy to see why nhl teams are pretty excited about him at the very top of this draft but coles and picks it free wow he's a bear on the puck 17 years old he's so strong over top of it Lehman picked it out of his feet. Pod Colson stays back on it. A silly Pod Colson centers a great point blank save there by Hollenstein as he turns away Costa. Pod Colson trying to work it free. Swiss is coming around. Picked out by Pod Colson. Back for Denisenko. To the point it goes. Sam Ruka a hard shot. That was blocked by Lowenberger. The puck to the line, but not out. And gets the Russians established on the power play. Denisenko feeds it down to Pud Colson. Back to Denisenko. Walks out of the corner. Denisenko centering pass. Pud Colson couldn't get a shot away. The silly Pud Colson for Costin. Now Costin spins and shoots. And Di Pietro makes the stop. Wide open Pud Colson can't field this. And then as the puck comes back out, look at all four players on one side of the ice. Dennis Sanko's all by himself. You can see he was yelling at the forwards to get back into the play. In comes Kern with it now. He's poke checked there by Pud Colson. Rozov with it. We talked about it yesterday. 17-year-old don't often make the Russian national junior team, but Pud Colson has. Evan Rozov, he shoots, just missed wide.
such awareness on the ice and patience for just such a young player. He pulls up, sets up one play. Now, no, no. And Pud pulls it, has it back. Vasily Pud pulls it. Drops it off to Marchenko. He shoots it. Talked a couple of times about the 17-year-old Vasily Pud Coles. And now he's already got his head on a swivel. He finds the, the on-rushing Marchenko. Here's a chance now for Pud Coles and shorthanded. Pud Coles and works it and shoots and work make the save. And we're seeing lots of Pud Coles in here in the first game for the Russians. The 17-year-old is killing penalties for them. Here's Pud Coles and back on it. It's interesting to me, Gord, when you, you hear so much about a youngster and it's about his skill that he just showed there, yet where he's making his biggest contribution is when they're down a man, he's using his tenacity to get to the puck and hold it. The guy who can return next year for the Russians. But as you pointed out, Pud Colson's been pretty regular for the Russians from the get-go. He averages about 12 and a half minutes a game. But it's not just even the minutes, Gord. The, the way that they're using him is really unheard of for for the Russians they just Valeri Bragan just doesn't put them in in roles of of importance it seems until they get older and out with Puck Colson as Berger winds and shoots that was blocked by Puck Colson and the puck was over the glass Bragan applauding the work of Puck Colson on the shot block back at the line Samuelson shoots that was blocked Ryan Paling dug that free for Team USA, and now back comes Pod Coles in the other way. And not much in the way of offense for the United States. One of the reasons is Russia swarms pretty well defensively. But Pod Coles and comes back the other way. He, along with Alexei Lafreniere, were dominant at the under-18 tournament episode of the summer of the Helenka Gretzky Cup. In comes Pod Coles with it now. Vesely Pod Coles and busts to the front of the hole, and Gorger knocked that away. Very rare for 17-year-olds to make an impact at the World Junior Championship. We talk all the time in our NHL games about how the league is skewing younger with the skill and all that goes all the way down the chain too. And I guess this is a really good example of it is Pod Colson is certainly impressed here as a 17 year old in this tournament. Goes sliding into the Slovak netminder. A strong drive by Pod Colson. Gives a tap to the goaltender Sklenar as he gets himself out of the goal crease. Not gonna have to wait too long to hear his name, is he? Nope. And now, Phillips knocked down, but Coles will get it to him, and a penalty coming to Russia. Because Phillips gets tied up with Vasily Pod Coles in, and no penalty yet, and you're going to see the elbow right to the mush here. Set back in front, Kachukov got a piece of that, as Draboon was looking for the rebound, but Coles it. Sends it ahead to Shashkov, 2-1-1 on for the Russian, Shashkov, in shoot, scores! <laughs> Just as the penalty expired, Shashkov fires it home. We often hear from scouts that tell us about a draft-eligible player in this tournament. They can't really hurt themselves because they're playing so far ahead of their age group. But some can really help themselves. And I would say Put Colson has shown maybe not the offense that he will show as he plays in his age group. And you saw Gord in the, in the summer tournaments. But around the puck, away from the puck, killing penalties. He has been terrific, showing a more complete side. Now a steal for Pud Colson. Pud Colson getting more ice time as the tournament goes along. Pud Colson digs it free. Sends it back across, and Denisenko just missed. What a play by Pud Colson. And now back at the point, Pud Colson a long shot, and a save made by Splinter. It's funny, Ray, when you're talking about that you don't win by the Slovaks, how often? Sandberg turns it over to Pud Colson. Vasily Pud Colson walks it and shoots off the outside of the goal frame. Pud Colson back with it. Centering pass picked off by Farabee. A 3-1 loss and a 4-3 loss. Pud Colson walks in. Centers it just missed. Crash off of that pass. Goal so far. Shabarukov winds and shoots it. Tip high by Pud Colson. The Russians have the best power play percentage of the tournament at 32%. Crafts off. Rink wide for Denisenko. Denisenko swings it down to Pud Colson. The 17-year-old in the top Russian power play. Pud Colson, the time winding down, feeds it down. A sharp angle shot by Crafts off. He got buried. That's a penalty, Gord. That's a cross-checking penalty. Dylan Gord. Sandberg now, now some pushing and shoving breaks out. Puck still loose and flipped wide by Fairbari. Now Puck Colson comes back the other way. Vasily Puck Colson 
with Shashkov. The centering pass was broken up by Yvonne. A number of players on the return eight are young enough to play next year as well. One of them is this young man, Vasily Pukkoles, and the 17-year-old. And back at the point is Samuelson. Kachikov doesn't look comfortable in the Russian goal right. Backdoor pass. Cates just missed it. He looked like this a little earlier in the tournament. Really locked down later on. In comes Pukkoles. Works it and shoots. That deflected just wide. Thompson had that pass deflected away. And the Bouchard shot was blocked by Puck Coles, and Bouchard gets it back across to Phillips. Phillips in, shoots, just missed wide. Puck Coles and back up, has the loose puck. Puck Coles it. Spins it ahead for Ilya Morozov. He's got Ivan Morozov with him. He's it back across, tipped away by Phillips. He has a second American goal, trying to feed that in. It was blocked by Puck Coles. Puck Coles and picks off that pass. Goes ahead to Costa. Herbari. Drops it back to Liska. Shen plays it back. Here's Ivan with it. And Hughes pivots and shoots. And that's blocked by Alexiev. But Coles in with it. Up there by himself as the Russians were changing. Now it's poking ahead to Put Coles it. Chips it into Kovalenko. Put Coles it. Work that free. Ilya Morozov walks in and shoots. It goes off a skate. Morozov gets it back. And Primo makes the stop. Puck Coles and trying to dig it free. 29-24, the shots in favor of the Russians. Puck Coles it. Kovalenko back with it. Feeds it across to Puck Coles it. Puck Coles and shoots, that's blocked. As Samber got in the way, Puck Coles it. Shoots, missed short side. At the line is Romanov, he holds the line. Feeds it back in deep for Kovalenko. Nikolai Kovalenko works it free for Puck Coles on the side of the goal. Puck Colson has shown some really terrific strength on the puck. He's strong on it. He's shifty. He's hard to handle. And Puck Colson racing in. Work knocked that away. And now Puck Colson has it back for the Russians with Slepin. A silly Puck Colson steps around glass. Lines his way in. Puck Colson shoots. That goes wide. Puck Colson back on it. The 17 year old Vasily Puck Colson. Dr. Kravtsov. That goes wide. Lead pass to Puck Colson. Vasily Puck Colson moves in. Puck Colson. A full move to the front of that. The puck still loses. Foot wide there by Costin.